Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Visualize and represent numbers using blocks. 2. Identify the place values of the digits up to the thousands. Let's start by visualizing and representing numbers using blocks. Numbers from 1 up to 1000 may be represented using these blocks. The 1's blocks. The 10's blocks are longs. And the 100's blocks are flats. These are called base 10 blocks. This single cube represents the number 1. This long block is actually made up of 10 cubes. It represents the number 10. This flat block is actually made up of 10 longs. It represents the number 100. Let's see some examples of how numbers are represented using these blocks. These five cubes represent the number five. These are seven longs. Remember, each long represents ten. Let's count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. These seven longs represent the number seventy. These are three flats. Remember, each flat represents 100. Let's count by 100s. 100, 200, 300. These three flats represent the number 300. Let's now have a combination of longs and cubes. What number is represented here? The three longs make 30, and the five cubes represent 5. All these together represent 35. Let's now have a combination of flats, longs and cubes. What number is represented here? The two flats make 200, the five longs make 50, and the seven cubes represent 7. All these together represent 257. The value of each digit in a number depends on its position in the number. The positions or slots occupied by the digits are also called place values. From right to left, the place values of the digits are 1s, 10s, and 100s. The value of each digit is the product of the digit and its place value. Given this number, identify the place value and value of each digit. The 1 is in the 1's place value. The 9 is in the 10's place value. The 8 is in the hundreds place value. See how their values depend on their place values. Let's have another example. Here, all the ones, tens, and hundreds place values are occupied by nines. The values of these nines are 900, 90, and 9. Let's represent this number using blocks. What will we have if we add in one more cube? We now have 10 cubes forming another long. This tenth long, together with the nine other longs, will form another flat. And this tenth flat, together with the nine other flats, will make this one big cube. Adding one to 999 makes 1000. See that a fourth digit to the left is needed, and a big block representing 1000 is formed. Apply what you learned in these practice exercises. 1. What number is represented by these blocks? The answer is 462. 2. Draw the blocks to represent this number. The answers are 3 flats and 4 cubes. What are the place values and values of the underlying digit in each number?
Remember, numbers may be represented using base 10 blocks. These base 10 blocks actually represent the place values. The value of each digit depends on its place in the number or on the place value where it sits. Adding one more to 999 makes a thousand.